and Boyd will play it 15 metres out from the try line as Jeremy Smith, he's strong, he tries to get there, but he's seven metres out. He'll play it, held down for a long time by Miles. Fiend gets it away, Hornby gets it on, bounces for Nike Gale, he'll do it, he'll do it, he's done it again. Put two down for Nike Gale. Well, again, it's Joseph Lalea that comes up with a poor play for the Roosters in defence. It's whether or not Nightingale has grounded this. Roosters were screaming for forward pass. I think the pass was good. But it was just misread by the by the Roosters' defence. Yeah, one of those passes that hit the ground. I'm sure to try. I think Nightingale gets this ball down without any problem whatsoever, and he does. There was no danger. Matthew Minicello just sliding in there, cops him. No, he's happy. He's happy. He's not in pain. He's in ecstasy. He's Jason Nightingale. A little bit dangerous there from, from many, but we not be too concerned about that. The try scorer, it puts him outside a converted try. Well, the Dragons have now asked the, the big, big question. 16 to 8, a damp pitch, rain coming down. Nightingale scores his 39th try, and they build up an eight-point lead. Jamie to make it 10 points from the same spot that he kicked the goal from the previous Nightingale try. It's on its way. I like it. He's got it. Salwood's kicked the goal. Andrew Sidelight. Now it's just gone off his nana. He's excited about kicking that goal. Feen looking left, looking right, having a little go. Young will score. Dean Young. He has scored the son of the captain of 1979. He's got a wonderful combination going with Nathan Fiend, and he has scored behind the uprights. Yeah, it's the same play we saw last week against the Tigers. Nathan Fiend going out of dummy half to the left, finding Jeremy Smith on that occasion. It hasn't been awarded yet to Dean Young. Well, Dean Young has been accredited with a grand final try. I don't know that his dad scored in 79. I'd bet long odds that he did. In fact, you could bet him 33 to 1. He wouldn't back himself, I don't think. Here's the kick from Sal, and he converts. Well, they're in cruise control now, the Dragons, aren't they? The Roosters starting to self-destruct. The scoreboard's got away with them. They're losing touch with the contest and coming up with lots of errors. This is uh, very reminiscent of their Sydney Cricket Ground clash where the Dragons' defence just frustrated the Roosters. Made them cough up a lot of errors. Sour to stretch the lead.